Okay, DJ class. So for this week, we will start with our formal lecture with the history of psychology. If I fail to mention, I am Miss Desiree May M. Maldonado. I am from the Humanities and Social Sciences Department of Castle of the Senior High School Department. Okay, so our aim for this module or this lecture is to define psychology and trace its development as a discipline in the social sciences. So we have two objectives. Hopefully we hit it by the end of the module. We usually see this trident, so this one, so you can see in the image, as the symbol of psychology. It is a wrong notion that it is associated with the devil's trident. Okay, so usually it is uh, associated with devil or demons. Ganyan. In ancient times, they associated mental illness as caused by demons or witchcraft. The folklore symbol is usually called Sai. Okay, so this one is a Sai. And during the ancient times, as I have mentioned, it is um, mental illnesses would be classified as something caused by demons, by witchcraft. But as society submerged, diba, nakikita naman natin na um, we are paying attention to mental health. Diba? We are giving more emphasis on this and mental illnesses like depression, um, anxiety is, is, is something that we should look, we should um, be serious of. Okay? The story of this symbol involves some mythology or si Cupid and Psyche. Okay? So, yun nakikita nyo sa image na to. Psy is the 23rd letter in the Greek alphabet and at some point, the Romans translates transliterated it to form the word psyche. It meant butterfly, so as you can see, we have a butterfly on this, in Latin, but it went on to mean things like breeze, breath, energy, and finally soul or human soul. In ancient Greek, the word psyche, as mentioned earlier, meant butterfly. This insect was also a symbol for the breath of life, a breeze, a life-giving wind, divine feminine, um, healing. Okay, so those words are associated with butterfly. Okay. Psychology, the scientific study of behavior and mental process. The psyche, meaning solar mind, and logos, means study psychology. Um, psychology is the study of mind, okay, of the soul or the mind. Our modern definition of psychology is a scientific study of behavior and mental processes. So we have here two, behavior and mental processes. Two important concepts is behavior and mental processes, as I have mentioned. Behavior is the outward or overt actions and reactions, for example, talking, facial expressions and movement, and the mental processes involve an internal, covert activity of our minds, thinking, feeling, and remembering. For example, okay, so for the historical background, the origin, we have two again, philosophy and physiology. Psychology originated in these two, philosophy and physiology, in ancient times, philosophers have thought about the connection of the mind and the body. Okay, while the more modern doctors also wondered about the connection of the body and brain. In fact, most of our early psychologists were medical doctors by profession. And in philosophy, we could see here Socrates and Aristotle. Philosophers tried to understand and explain the human mind and its connection to physical body. Well, in physiology, Hamels, Muller, Fashner, they are medical doctors. As mentioned, medical doctors by profession are, are these psychologists. Okay. Philosophical context. So, we have different philosophers mentioned here. Plato, 
first, the brain is where mental processes take place. So this is the contestant of Plato. For Socrates, know thyself. Learn about yourself through self-examination or introspection. So si Socrates, siya yung tipo na um, we have to reflect. We have to know ourselves even more for us to know a lot more about ourselves. So parang alalahanin mo. We have to always reflect on things, on our experiences, our daily lives. Introspection yung tawag doon or yung self-examination na tinatawag ni Socrates. Sa so Aristotle, human behavior is subject to certain rules and laws. Okay, so si Aristotle, meron na siyang inclination to some certain laws and rules. So we follow rules, we follow laws as mandated by um, even societies, as mandated by families, etc. And Hippocrates, he talked about abnormalities in the brain and is actually biological in nature. So nakikita na ni, Hippo, uh, ni Hippocrates na um, if there is something not good or not functioning well in your brain or the abnormalities as we call it, then it is biological. Meaning to say it can be cured, it can be prevented. Okay? And, ito, si Hippocrates and Claudius Gallens, later on we will differentiate the two, they propose the idea of four humors. Okay, so kanila yun. Within the human body, each responsible for a different aspect of the human condition and believe that an imbalance between the four would affect physical and mental well-being. This holistic approach to medicine inextricably linked mind and the body, a factor only recently readopted by modern science, which tends to treat physical conditions and symptoms without paying much regard to mental health and vice versa. So sila, sabi nila, meron tayong four humors, later on I will mention those four, na kapag yung isa ay hindi nag-function, it could lead to imbalance in our physical and mental well-being. So, sinasabi nila, dapat itong four na to, they should be balanced. Or they should be taken care of. Ayan. Yan yung focus nila. Okay, let's see. Ito. Ito nyo itong... Ito. Ito. Sanguine, phlegmatic, melancholy, choleric. Okay? So, ito yung sinasabi ni Hippocrates at saka ni Talon. I-explain natin isa-isa. Ito, oh, sige, start dito tayo sa red. Itong sanguine, as you can see. Ito yung blood. Okay, for for Hippocrates, okay, let's get back. Okay, so for Hippocrates, sorry, Hippocrates, we have four different substances. Yellow bile, so ito yon, dito siya. Yellow bile, black bile, ito yon. Phlegm, ito yon. And blood. Okay? But later on, si Galen, in ano niya lang, finurder, explain niya lang tong mga to. Okay? So, let's start with this. <laughs> Sorry. Okay, so si Galen, um, later on, ni remodify niya itong mga to. So, first, yung blood or yung sanguine, ito yung klase ng niya, related to the element of air and labor, dictated courage, hope, and love. So, if you are this kind of a person, look at this one sa leadership, carefree, lively, easygoing, responsive, talkative, I know for sure some of you would be guilty on this, outgoing also, and sociable, you are referred to as sanguine. Okay? Or you are an extroverted individual. Okay? So, you belong on this. Extroverted ka. When we say extroverted, ito nga siya. Ito yung characteristics na meron tayo. Yan. You're a leader. You're carefree, lively. Mga tipong outgoing talaga. Pag niyaya mo sa party, pupunta, sasama. 
or walang ano-ano, walang klase ng pag-iisip, I will go. Okay, so sila yon. And, yung next natin, choleric. So, ito siya, itong cell na to. Sila yung active, optimistic, yes, may mga positive-minded individuals. Um, impulsive also, changeable, excitable, aggressive at times, restless and touchy. So, ito yung mga sweet, alam niyo yung mga sweet na tao na touchy on an individual. Also, impulsive, add to cart ng add to cart sa Shopee, di ba? Tapos mamaya, i-check out na. Okay, kasi ang iniisip ay, I deserve this one. Minsan lang to. Ganyan, ang mga iniisip. So, you belong to the choleric type of a person. Also, belong to extroverted individuals. Alright? So, kayo na yung mag-assess sa sarili nyo if you belong on sanguine or choleric or extroverted individuals ba kayo. On the other hand, we have the introverted individuals. Okay, so sa mga introverted naman, ayan, so yung phlegmatic, sila yung mga calm, even-tempered, reliable, controlled, peaceful, thoughtful, careful, and passive. So ito naman yung mga tipo ng tao na mahinahon lang. May problem tayo, then okay, let's make up on this. Yung mga taong um, kalmado lang sa mga bagay-bagay na kiniinit ng ulo. Sila yung mga hindi mabilis mag-init yung ulo, basically, no? Mga thoughtful as well. Yeah, so kung kayo to, check nyo kung medyo nagpo-fall kayo sa cell na to. You belong to the introverted type of individuals. Okay, and by, by the way, yung choleric or yung yellow bile related to the element of fire and the gallbladder uh, could lead to bad temper and anger in excess. So, yun, dagdag ko lang din ulit dito sa choleric. Minsan, ito yung mga tao na mabilis mag-init yung ulo, mabilis magalit on things, mabilis madisheartened also. Okay, so sila yun. Okay, by the way, balik tayo. Sa phlegmatic, ito siya. Sorry, nauna siya dito. Ito siya. Okay, so phlegm associated with the element of water in the brain was responsible for rationality. Okay, take note of this. Sila yung mga rational. Mga nag-iisip before anger, before any kind of feelings, sila yun. But would dull the mo emotions if allowed to become dominant. Okay, and that's the, itong melancholic, introverted pa rin. Black bile associated with the element of air, earth, and the spleen would lead to sleeplessness and irritation if it dominated the body. So, itong mga melancholic, usually they are quiet, unsociable, mga tipong, alam nyo yun, mga hindi party goers, ayaw sa tao, etc. Reserve pessimistic, mga negative thinkers, parang hindi pa natatry, but they know in themselves that I cannot do it. Okay, so kung kaya yan, medyo mag-isip-isip na tayo, no? Kung medyo nagpo-fall na tayo dito. Sober, rigid, anxious, mapag-isip sa mga bagay-bagay, very, alam nyo, very overthinkers. Okay, so sila yon and moody. Okay, medyo moody din sila. At some point, medyo magiging sensitive din yung kalooban. So, melancholic, and you are an introverted individual. Okay, next. Okay, so Wilhelm Wundt, Wundt okay, established the first psychological laboratory. He studied conscious experience by examining its structure, components, parts, sensation, and feelings using individuals who were trained in introspection. So, si William, Wilhelm Wundt, ano din siya, um, inclined din siya into introspection. This school of psychology became known as structuralism. Okay. So, structuralism yung kanya. Let's associate structuralism with uh, with him. And we will study this further as we go on with the course. I'm sorry. Okay. So, chronology of Philippine psychology. We only have a timeline on this. So, it started in 1926. We are paying attention to psychology na. The following table, so kayo na yung magbabasa nito, the following table would let you see the series of events in Philippine psychology. 
So, some events, some important or significant um, yun yan, mga nangyari um, in the Philippine psychology or development as well around psychology. You don't need to memorize or remember all those dates. Just be familiar with how psychology has grown in our country, grown and developed in our country. Okay? So, ayan. And up to date, Diba, napapansin naman natin na we are paying attention to psychology. Kasi nga, yung mga mental illnesses natin, as mentioned a while ago, we have depression, anxiety, panic attacks, even mga, um, ano nyo, sleeping disorders. So, yun, medyo, um, binibigyan na natin siya ng attention. Kasi nga, depression is not really a joke. Anxieties are not a joke. Diba? So, we should pay medical attention on persons or we see, we, we give them a hand. Okay? So, I think that's it for this presentation. I hope to see you on the next.